What's up, Mr. Fridge? All right, thanks for keeping these cold for me. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Serial Snob, and welcome to 2021. Take a little moment to celebrate that we finally made it through 2020. Seriously. Today we are talking about, obviously, the new Pebbles Creamers. These just released as of yesterday, so if you haven't seen them or if you don't know about them, well, they're new, so they'll be coming out. Well, they're coming out now, but if they're not in your store, they should be there pretty soon, so keep an eye out. Now, I got these sent to me from Pebbles because this marks that this marks Pebbles 50th birthday. 2021 is the 50th birthday of Pebbles cereal, which means it came out in 1971 for those of you that are good with math or not good with math. <laughs> but that's insane to me because I didn't know Pebbles was that old. I was thinking like, you know, maybe the 80s, uh, but 1971 is like, it's almost as old as my dad. So 50 years is a very, very long time and Pebbles admittedly is one, or Fruity Pebbles is one of my all time favorite cereals. It's just something that has been good consistently and I don't, think it's changed and if it has changed it's changed so little that I don't notice it so that's why I'm excited to try these new creamers out and tell you guys how they are because um, as a 30 plus year old guy I love coffee and I love cereal as you guys know so trying to merge those two seems like a really cool idea now the cup you saw me pour in the beginning was this cup here it contains the cocoa pebbles creamer and I can tell you ooh, it's very pleasant like, it smells like Cocoa Pebbles when you open up this little container. Well, maybe more like chocolate milk, but you know, the milk you get at the end of your Pebbles bowl. And it mixes just really well with coffee, but coffee and chocolate have long time been mixing together and mixing together well. So this is for sure a huge recommendation for me, but I don't know, I, I don't know if it, how it compares to other chocolate creamers, because I've never bought another just chocolate creamer, but it is a win, so totally recommend this one. Now, it's the Fruity Pebbles one, which, concerns me because as much as I love Fruity Pebbles, fruit is sweet and tangy typically, and coffee is like bitter and acidic. So mixing those two flavors together, I don't think is gonna be amazing, but I want to do that here with you live for the first time so you can see my real reactions. Um, and just know I'm hesitant, but excited, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna go, um, well, I'm gonna finish this cup of coffee because it's the morning and I still need to get ready for my day. But I'm gonna brew another cup and get the pebbles, the fruity pebbles creamer inside that, and you guys can check it or check that out along the journey with me. Okay, let's do it. Okay, while well, my next cup is brewing, I thought it might be good just to take a little uh, swig of just the creamers themselves by themselves. Not something I normally do, but really to just try and see how the flavor is by itself. Ooh, man, that's really really sweet but really delicious for the cocoa one. I'm gonna rinse this out real quick. Okay, and then here we are with the Pebbles, Fruity Pebbles creamer, still sealed. To prove that I didn't try it before we got to this point. Isn't this the worst, trying to get these tin caps off? Why are teeth the most effective at this? Hmm, okay, smells like Fruity Pebbles. Let's see if it tastes like Fruity Pebbles, huh? <laughs> like, like concentrated Fruity Pebbles for sure. <laughs> okay, let's mix it with coffee. Actually, I think this is terrible. I'm just, <laughs> it's bad. But with coffee, we'll see. Oh, there we go. Just enough to really get that flavor. Okay, time to uh, take the first sip of this Fruity Pebbles creamer in my freshly brewed coffee. It's hot, as you can tell, by the changing mug. Let's go. <sighs> I think it's terrible. Oh, yeah, it is not good. Not even a little bit. You know, some days you're like, man, I really need energy. 
I'll drink anything to give me energy. If someone handed you this cup of coffee with the Fruity Pebbles creamer, I think you'd say, I'll deal with it. I don't, no thanks. It's just, um, it's sour in a citrusy way, but it neutralizes everything that's like good about my coffee in general. Like I like that bitter coffee flavor, but this takes all that away. It just leaves like this empty sour flavor on the back of my tongue which is um, not my favorite. I definitely feel like I just wasted a whole cup of coffee, but it's a Keurig, They're sink it's fine. I have lots of coffee, I'll be fine. Um, but that's it today. So we have both creamers from Pebbles. Cocoa Pebbles, huge win for me, totally get that. The Fruity Pebbles is um, definitely not recommended unless you just wanna collect the container because it's cool. Um, but big shout again to Pebbles, to International Delight, the people who make these creamers for sending these my way. And big shout out to Pebbles for your 50th birthday. Happy birthday, Pebbles. For the longest time, um, I remember Pebbles, like the back of my Fruity Pebbles box, literally being exactly the same from like, I swear like five or six until I was 15. And for that 10 year period, it was like the most comforting cereal to go back to because I knew the back like the back of my own hand. Um, but they changed it not too long ago and I haven't seen that one in a while, um, but it was great. And Pebbles is great, just not, Fruity Pebbles Creamer. <laughs> okay, so that is it for today, guys. Like I said, for more cereal news, reviews, and culture, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give me a like, that really helps me out, and comment below, okay? I'll talk to you guys real soon. Peace.